It was a classic love story, like something from a Tom Hanks movie. Guy pesters girl in eighth grade during class. Girl gets annoyed. Later in the day, girl is no longer annoyed and talks for hours with boy in school lobby. Years later, guy goes to ball game. Girl sits by guy and tries to convince him to ask out another girl. Soon after, girl instead goes herself with guy to concert. I don't know if I could do it again. I need to get into the horizon. It's good. Wait for this. Three for what? Getting married? Uh huh. Yeah. Here's what the bride and groom say about their own relationship. Their personalities fit together perfectly. They never get tired of each other. They always have something to say. That's the beautiful irony of the speechless moment that you shared at this proposal of the delay. Two chatterboxes were sealed up. Not a word to be said. After all those talks in the school lobby, the phone calls, and you've only been apart for five minutes. You were left in silence. Now will you hold each other's hands? Will you look into each other's eyes and say, I'll be there for you? Now the bride and groom have rings to exchange. Nick, will you place the ring on her finger and repeat after me? With this ring, With this ring. I promise I promise to honor you to honor you with forever love with forever love Sam will you do the same and repeat after me with this ring with this ring I promise I promise to honor you to honor you with forever love with forever love Nick you take Sam as your wife to cherish now and always I do and Sam, do you take Nick as your husband to treasure now and always? I do. Because of your vows to each other and your exchange of rings by the power vested in me by the state of Arkansas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
kind of together from me having Tommy John surgery on my elbow and this guy taking me out there no matter how crazy I was with the pain meds and everything else. And that's, uh, but that's, I'll always be there for him and he knows that. And uh, Sam, I'll always be there for you. I saw her again for the first time at CRA uh, at my little brother's school musical thing they had going, Christmas musical, and uh, ran into her. We're like, oh, yeah, we need to catch up, thinking we were just going to be like, okay, hi, bye. No, ever since then, we were like inseparable. We started hanging out again. 